Hey, I'm Joe Jack Talcum from the Dead Milkman, and I'm going to be sharing my crazy tour story with you today. This takes place in 1986. Dead Milkman had two albums out now, our second one, Eat Your Paisley, and we were touring for that one. And we're, we play Minneapolis, Minnesota. Our second time at this place called 7th Street Entry, which is a smallish venue, maybe holds about 100. It's connected to First Avenue, which is a much bigger uh, venue there in Minneapolis. We were scheduled to be the headliner of two bands. Uh, but when we get there, the sound guy says, Hey, um, got a special request. There's going to be a special guest. I can't really tell you much more about that after you're set. And they would like to know if they could borrow uh, your equipment. And we're like, uh, really? We had, we had problem, problems with that, especially Dean with his drums, because in the past, uh, Dean lent his uh, snare out to someone else, and it got broken. And, you know, being on a tour with uh, not a whole lot of money and no spare snare, we decided that's not a good idea. So we said no. So this the guy says, well, if you don't, let the band use your equipment, uh, then we're going to have to make you be the first band. And is that okay? We said, yeah, well, that's the way it has to be. So we're a little disappointed, but what the heck, we still got a show. Well, we played the show. I remember it being pretty good. Decent crowd. Curious to see what's going to happen. Uh, after the second, they're called Ring Theater, by the way. I happen to remember that. Second, the the now headliner, uh, plays. Sheila E. gets up on stage and starts playing their drum kit. Go, just laying down a beat. And then, of all people, Prince comes through the uh, 7th Street entry door. There's this door that, come, that goes from 1st Avenue to 7th Street entry and picks up the bass guitar and starts playing a bass riff to the, to the, drum, to the drums. And I believe he also, I'm pretty sure he was singing too, he had, had some vocals going on there. And proceed, they lock the doors after Prince uh, appears, so no more people can, maybe a few, maybe a dozen people. And I remember seeing people like trying to get through the door, but they won't let them. So it's us, just us, the Dead Milkman fans and the Ring Theater fans, and a few people uh, watching Prince and she he play a, a mini set just for just for us it was very intimate and strange bass and drums and then they stop and uh, leave and we pack up our gear and go what just happened <laughs> prince just played uh go back to uh the place where we're staying with some people we uh, arranged ahead of time not a hotel ask if we can use their phone because we want to call our <laughs> friends back in philly and say you won't believe what happened and they're kind of like uh, guys this happens a lot prince plays <laughs> he's been doing this quite a bit uh but it doesn't really matter to us because we we never seen him play and it was great that we did <laughs> so the crazy story that happened uh, to the dead milkman on tour the second time he played minneapolis mm -hmm.